Hello friends, welcome back to Rising Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this question based on the concept of delta derivative of a function in time scales. Question is, let f is a function defined on time scale t such that f of t equals to alpha where alpha is some real number. Prove that delta derivative of a function f is 0 for any point t belonging to set t to the power k. We will start our proof. Firstly, we will recall the definition of delta derivative of a function in time scale. So, for a function f from time scale t to r and a point t belonging to set t to the power k, if f delta t is the number provided it exists such that for any epsilon positive, there is a neighborhood say u of point t of this form and for some delta positive for which we have this condition modulus of f of sigma t minus f of s minus f delta t multiplied by sigma t minus s is less than or equal to epsilon times modulus of sigma t minus s for all points s in this neighborhood u of t then the number f delta t is said to be the delta or Hilger derivative of the function f of t defined on the time scale t. So, we will proceed further. So, let us consider a time scale t and a function f defined from time scale t to r such that f takes value alpha for every t in the given time scale. That is f of t equals to alpha where alpha is some real number. Now, for a point t belonging to set t to the power k and any epsilon positive, we will consider this neighborhood of t and a point s in this neighborhood so by definition we have f of sigma t minus f of s minus 0 times sigma t minus s its modulus so in this definition we have replaced this f delta t by 0 since we have to prove that derivative of the given function is 0 so we will see whether this condition is satisfied or not. So, in this definition, we have replaced f delta t by 0 and remaining terms are kept as it is. So, here we get modulus of f of sigma t minus f of s minus 0 multiplied by sigma t minus s. Since f delta t we have considered equal to 0. So, here f of sigma t is alpha since f takes value alpha for any t in the given time scale t. So, we have f of sigma t equals to alpha. Similarly, f of s will be also equal to alpha and this term will become 0. So, this becomes modulus of alpha minus alpha which is equals to 0 and as this is 0, so this is strictly less than or equal to epsilon times modulus of sigma t minus s. So, this condition is satisfied for every s in this neighborhood of the point t. So, we have delta derivative of f is 0 for all points t in the set t to the power k. Since we have considered any arbitrary point in the set t to the power k, so we can say that derivative of f is 0 for all points t belonging to set t to the power k and this completes our solution.